Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can set up and configure the SMTP email profile in Fuxa Vipscara. And we have tested that SMTP email profile by sending some test emails. Okay. Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to set up the alarm notification. So whenever there is an alarm occur, okay, we have covered alarm section previously also. So whenever there is an alarm occur, we want to notify the user over the email that this alarm occur. Okay, so high high alarm, low alarm or high alarm, whatever alarm is there, this is occur, please check the system. Okay, so this is how we want to uh, notify the user using Fuxas Kata. So how you can do that, how you can set up the notification alarm notification pipeline in the Fuxas Kata. So that we are going to see in this video. So First of all, what you have to do is you have to navigate to the Fuxa Webscada editor. In the edit project option, you have to click here and you have to click on the notification. Previously, we have configured the SMTP email profile, so everything is there. Okay, let me put the password again. Okay, so SMTP email profile is there. Now we are going to set up the notification. Okay, so you have to click on the notification right now you can see there is no notification okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one notification which is hr0 alarm notification okay and uh, receiver email address so whom we are going to notify okay so that person email address we have to specify here so here i have uh, uh, opened the temporary email so I'm going to copy this email. I'm going to paste it here and the type is alarm. OK, so whenever there is an alarm, we are going to fetch that alarm and we are going to send that email that this alarm occur. Please check. OK, so if user is not on the screen, if user is not watching on the screen and if there is an alarm occur, then we have to notify the user over the mail. So for which alarm, which priority alarm we want to send email to the user. So we are going to send email to the user for all the priorities. OK. So we will select high, high, high and low. Now delay. So we will wait for how much minute before sending the email. So we will wait for one minute. Now interval. If the alarm condition stays for 15 minutes, then you want to send email every one minute, every two minutes, every three minutes. That interval you have to specify here. Okay. So if you keep it one, okay, then suppose if your alarm is staying for 30 minutes, then every minute you will get a mail. Okay, if you specify five minutes, then every five minutes you will get a mail. So this is the settings. Okay, now you have to press OK to add the notification and then you have to save the project. Okay, now we will go to the alarms and here we will see that for high high alarm, the value should be between 160 to 200. And for high alarm, the value should be between 120 to 160 and for low, it should be below 30. Okay. That's it. Now we can go to the home. Okay, so here is our uh, Fuxascara dashboard. So I'm going to open the dashboard and this uh, temporary mail parallelly, and we will change the value of holding register zero. Okay, and based on the value, we should have a notification email here. So I'm going to change it to 180 as it's fall under the high high alarm. So you can see. Uh, the graph value is 180 and here you will see the alarm that HR0 critical high. Okay, the priority is high high and the status is active. We are not going to acknowledge it. We will wait for the email first. It will take time to receive the email as we have configured that the check time is one minute. So it will check that the alarm is active for one minute or not and if it is active for one minute and then after it will send a mail so you can see it is still not active for the one minute okay so after completion of one minute it will trigger the mail and then after we will receive it in the temporary mail Okay, you can see here HR0 alarm notification and once you open then you will see the timing. Okay, 27th of April 4.55 IST. Okay, the alarm type is high high. Okay, and it's a HR0 critical high alarm. So this is how you will receive the mail and if you wait for five minutes, then again you will receive a new mail because we have set the interval 
to send notification at five minutes okay we don't want to uh, spam any user by sending email at every minute so we have kept our setting to one minute so if you go to the editor again and if you go to the notification here you can see we have set the interval for five minutes and the delay of one minute so we will wait one minute to check that alarm is still active for one minute if yes then we are going to send the mail and after five minutes if alarm is still active then it will send the email again okay so after five minutes you will get new email here in the inbox okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp otherwise it will work continuously okay so whenever there is a value in the alarm condition you will get email at every uh, certain interval which you have specified in the fuxa scada so this is how we use the uh, email notification pipeline in the fuxa scada okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can comment on this video and also you can send me a mail so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we will come up with the another topic in the fuxa scada so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you